Okay, we're going to uh, talk about worksheet 18-2 right here. And so uh, you've got pictures of two different atoms. This one has 12 protons, 12 neutrons, and then it has 12 electrons. Two in the first ring, eight in the second ring, two in the outside ring. Uh, letter B here, eight protons, eight neutrons, eight again, but six on the outside. All right, so then uh, question number one, if atom A loses electrons to atom B, A, how many electrons will atom A lose? Okay, so again, what, what's the magic number that it wants to achieve? What, what does an atom want uh, in order to be quote unquote happy, right? So when you look at atom A here, they're saying it's gonna lose electrons. Is it gonna lose, you know, just one or both of those outside ones or more? That's the question. Letter B, how many will atom B gain? Again, atom B wants the same thing as atom A, okay? So right now it has six valence electrons. How many does it want? And how many does it need to get to get that? Uh, C, what will be the oxidation number of atom A? This is the number given away. And what will be the oxygenate, uh, oxidation number of B? That will be the number of electrons gained. All right, and when you uh, give away electrons, your oxidation number is plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. If you gain electrons, that's a negative number. Letter E, what is the total charge of the compound formed? So you're gonna, these two are gonna merge together, but they're gonna have a total charge. Each, each atom will have its own charge, but together, what will that charge be? And what type of bond is it when you take a negative ion and a positive ion and you put them together? Um, explain why an element's oxidation number is related to the group on the periodic table to which it belongs. Um, that's something for you to kind of interpret. Um, but again, remember everything in group one has an oxidation number of plus one. Everything in group two has an oxidation number of plus two. Then you skip all the transition elements and then 13 is plus three, 14 is plus or minus four. 15, now we start counting down, 15 is minus three, 16 minus two, 17 is minus one, 18 is zero. So explain that. And then finally down here at the bottom, how uh, complete the table comparing ionic compounds and covalent compounds. So how are ionic compounds formed? You'll know, see that in the notes. How are covalent compounds formed? You'll see that in the notes. What do you call the smallest particle of an ionic compound? And what do you call the smallest particle of a covalent compound? And then what state? When we say state, we mean, are they solids, liquids, or gases? Are ionic compounds solids, liquids, or gases? Um, typically at room temperature, how about covalent compounds? You can look these up either in your book uh, or you can look those up uh, just on Google. All right.